What's up, everybody? My name is Vincent. Welcome to Cryptolution, where we talk about everything under the moon in Crypto Universe. Today is Friday, September 2nd, and I'm absolutely excited to share with you the Utes video today. Now, in this video, we're going to describe very conveniently for you what's been going on with Utes and why we should be really excited for the upcoming Mint this Sunday. Now, we're also going to be talking about your chances of becoming part of the Ute List, which is a scholarship program for people to submit and possibly mint this for a really good entry price. So in this video, we're going to be covering what the community is doing, what are your chances, the dust token, and also the very, very end, the very most important part is how the minting process is going to happen with Utes. Because again, a lot has happened within the past 24 hours. But again, you don't need to search the internet and do your research. This video is going to explain it for you conveniently. So guys, with that said, don't miss a single thing. Don't miss a single part of this video. Watch it till the very end. So like up that button, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to join our Patreon page. And most importantly, please be careful with any of the scammers down in the comments below. I'll never reach out via WhatsApp, Telegram, direct messaging, or email. So please be careful and invest safely. So guys, let's go ahead and begin because we have a lot to cover. So let's go ahead and start with the first thing that obviously there was a huge hack between all the D-God social links on Twitter and a lot of different people got hacked or their accounts were shut down. Luckily, all the accounts were unsuspended, they're back and going, but we just wanted to let you guys know that that did just happen and it could have been a coordinated attack towards D-Gods and the Utes community. Now, moving on. Now, what's really amazing is that people have found a very, very unique ways of trying to become part of the Ute list. Now, this person named Lance Whisker, uh, she was actually recording a video of her basically doing a dashui, which is when people put alcohol or drinks within a shoe and they just drink it out of the shoe to celebrate and to be part of the Utes and D-Gods community. So this person, while she was recording this video to hopefully get a spot in the Ute list, she found out in that very moment while she was recording that she was selected. So crazy enough that happened for her. So congratulations to Lan Whisker. And next up, let's talk about the celebrities and influence are part of this Ute list that have recently been announced within the past two weeks. This is really important for you to understand because we need to understand what's being attracted from Web2 or in real life worlds back into the Web3 space. So this is bringing in adoption on a massive scale. So celebrities and influencers help do that because if you're a part of the Ute list or a part of the D-God or Ute community, this helps you out a lot as well. Now, we know that Howie Mandel, who's a huge celebrity, he's helped judge America's Got Talent, also the BS game show, which is also available on Netflix. He's a huge celebrity, has his own podcast. Obviously, he has a ton of followers and he's been accepted to you. So that's really huge. We also have Beats by Nav. Now, Nav is a Canadian rapper, very infamous there. He even has around, let's see here, 867,000 followers. Again, attracting people from all different parts of the world, but also different categories, different backgrounds. Like this person, we got Pink, who's also a Fortnite competitor, around 129,000 followers. But you can see that we're attracting not just people in the Web3 space, but the gaming world, the entertainment world. So you can see that even in the music world, we're attracting that too. And then we also have Lil Baby, because again, we're talking about music. This person has 6.9 followers and a little baby if you don't know has a documentary out on hulu you know pretty much frank and all the other uh, members within the dgod community were super amped around this and people who were selected within the ute list have been really amped about this this is huge exposure and to see somebody fill out a form just like the rest of us is pretty cool to see that it's an equal playing field now we also have Allen Iverson. Now, if you don't know Allen Iverson, this guy is a huge basketball influencer. Uh, he played in basketball and he's just been such a huge person in this space. And he has around 1.3 million followers and he got accepted as well. But it doesn't just stop there. We also have Nasty Black. Now, Nasty Black is actually a creator and actor, but also a comedian who creates a lot of different shorts. And he has around 479,000 followers. So to see it like that. And also we have iJustine, which I was really excited about because iJustine is a huge tech influencer who reviews a lot of different Apple products and a lot of different software and she's a huge tech person and seeing her be a part of the space is pretty huge and her following let's see it's 1.8 million followers so obviously attracting a lot of attention to the space and she got really excited when she was announced as part of the Utless members now we also have someone a little bit more diverse who's really famous in the twitch scene this guy has 1.3 million followers you see how i'm getting it we're attracting all sorts of different people from all sorts of different backgrounds and of course we have wayne rooney who is a huge uh football or aka uh soccer in, in america we call it soccer but he has 17.2 million followers but obviously he's a huge influencer in the space and he was put onto this as well and he's going to become a Utes member. And let's keep in mind, there is some predictions out there. Frankie D-Gods predicts that the D-Gods will flip Moonbird soon. 
And shortly after that, it was this breaking Rainn23 predicts Utes will flip D gods. Wouldn't that be an interesting perspective? But I just want to share with you what's going on out there in the news because, again, you don't know where this is going to go, but this helps give you some educational insight around this. Now, a lot of people have been wondering, like, you know, do I need a ton of followers? Because basically everybody that we just covered in the slides previous to this have millions of followers, thousands of followers. But what are your chances, right? If you just have a couple hundred, maybe underneath 5,000. Well, check this out. So Frank said this on August 29th. Only 9% of accepted Ute list applications have been over 100,000 followers. 63% of the accepted members have under 5,000 just for you guys to understand. And this is the chart, the analytics around that to seeing how many people have been accepted. Say for instance, this was posted back on August 29th, today is September 2nd. So look at this, we have around 326 people that were underneath a thousand followers. So keep that in mind. And that seems to be almost close to the biggest number next to uh, 454 people who had between a thousand to 5,000 followers. So if you think you don't have a likely chance, well, you definitely have a likely chance compared to these other people down here. Now, moving on, Sourceford posted this back on August 31st, the day after that post, and he was saying around 1,500 people are left to go, meaning that 1,500 spots are still available. Again, that number certainly has shrunken down since then. Announcements have continued to keep going. And if you don't know, now the announcements are happening on their Discord. They're not doing it on Ute list because they don't want to be shut down. So keep that in mind. If you want to see if you got accepted to the Ute list, go on to their Discord on the Ute list page, and that will take you to a place where you will be announced, if any. So let's move on. Now, this is Analysor. Now, Analysor is a great website to understand how many wallets have been accepted that are both DGOD owners and non DGOD owners. Because really, what you need to know is that there are around 1,500 wallets that have been accepted to the Utes. That means there's around 1.8 million dust tokens needed to mint this. That means there should be some more liquidity going into the dust token, if any. But again, not everybody's gonna have enough money to mint. And we'll talk about the end of how that's gonna happen and how that's gonna benefit other people who will be put on the sidelines who maybe have been rejected or just waiting. Now, let's look at the dust token. The dust token is trading right now around $2.8. Now, that price could change drastically. As we've seen, we've seen a low of around $2.42 recently within the past seven days as up as $3.80. And we're kind of going in a slight dip after that. And that's because today was supposed to be the mint. And so it was pushed to Sunday. So obviously, a lot of traders are trading this token using leverage and just trying to trade amongst uh, the volatility of the news buy the rumor sell the news and all that jazz so that's what you're seeing right now so let's go ahead and look at the price volatility within the token now as you can see here it bounced off the four dollar level as i said three dollars and eighty cents we're kind of hovering around two dollars and eighty two cents so if we could expect to see a dip, we can expect it to drop all the way down to $2, but I don't expect that until after the mint. So we could see some sideways trading action and possibly we could go actually go back up to $4 if we see that happening, which most likely it could. But if you don't wanna have enough dust tokens to mint it and you have enough money just to buy a D gods or a dead gods, well, you could do it on the website. Because if you do it on here, if you do it on Magic Eden, which I would suggest doing because the royalties of the creator fee will go back to the community and to the D gods community, which helps the overall ecosystem between Utes and D-Gods, I think that would be the best route. So if you buy one of these dead gods or D-Gods, obviously you'll be you know, pretty much allocated a spot to mint one of these. Now, let's move on. There's some rumors out there that the dead gods that have been burned may come back in what form, we don't know. But on their roadmap, it says, what is dead may never die. So if these NFTs that were burned, these D-Gods that were transformed into dead gods, AKA the D-Gods were burned, maybe those D-Gods would come back. And so further news, this was posted. Now, Tester Mike said this on Discord. Now, he said, I think there will be a new dead gods available for sale soon. And if I'm right, then no one has enough dust. And Frank replied with a smiley face. So that was the rumor that was going on. What's going on with these dead gods and D gods? Like, wh what could we expect? Well, we're going to explain it in the next few slides. Before we get into that, I want to let you guys know that if you decide to mint these youths if you're selected or if you decide to uh, pick these up on secondary you need to understand that there's going to be ip rights and this is a really good point that dj news shared and that is that youths allegedly applied for a registered trademark on august 5th of 2022. this is the same ip attorney being the same that represents board ABI club OpenSea and Navita, and also Meta. So the fact that they're going back to the same IP attorney to register use is actually quite huge. 
Now, if you want confirmation if this is actually real, well, Frankie did actually report it and confirm that a lot of the IP rights have been done for you. So if you're questioning, is this actually real? It is real. So let's get down to the nook and cranny. So the Mint is coming up this Sunday, and if you go on Magic Eden, you'll notice this website. This website has this on their screen, which is Utes, Sunday at like 2 p.m. Pacific time, most likely. But you're wondering, is this where I mint my NFT? Not exactly. In fact, you'll be minting something else on here, which I will explain in the next slide. And this is the nook and cranny of the video. Now, this is provided by MetaCrypto 1000X. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and follow him already. I'm gonna go ahead and follow him right now. So. In this, it will explain a summary that happened yesterday. Frank was joining a Twitter space with Alexander, AKA Shill and Villain, on his probably nothing Twitter space. And this is a summary, I'm gonna break it down for you. Now the mint window is gonna happen Sunday. If you listed person doesn't mint, then the unrejected waitlist pool will be allowed to mint. Once DAO pool and scholarship mints out, and then all the NFTs are frozen in the wallet until sell it in the waitlist pool. Then one hour after the countdown in the Discord, and then we will be ready for people to trade on secondary. See how that happens? So you gotta wait an hour for that. Now, on the Magic Eden website is the most important part, which is what are we minting on the Magic Eden website on Sunday? Well, it's gonna be the YouTube. So what it says is what you mint on Sunday will be a YouTube. It's a vial to mint the Ute itself five days of trading of the vial. That means there will be five days of trading on Magic Eden of this vial. Then the reveal site to mint your actual Ute will happen. Own rarity site to show the ranking of your NFT tubes lottery ticket. You have to burn the YouTube in order to reveal the Ute. The order book buy slash sell style being created with Magic Eden for the Utes. Now I'm gonna stick the smart contract, the double staking and the trade store because that's not really important to me, even though the trade store is something definitely that we should capture in more videos, but we need to talk about staking. Now in terms of staking, once you get your ute and you use your vial to create your ute and you burn your ute to, then there's gonna be a 30 to 45 days of time staking that you can come up with prizes. Now the focus is to post mint is around simplicity and driving value. Now they decrease the royalties to around 5% royalties for the utes. And that's really important because those royalties will go back to the team, will go back to the community. But people were expecting it to be around 9.99%, which is a lot, but they've reduced it down so they can keep a lot of people going and trading and selling and just allowing the D Gods community to grow. But next up, I wanna show you is the most important part, which is the burn D guides coming back over 535 days. This is important for you because we just described what's happening with the burn D gods. So this is important, here we go. So revenue from this goes into the burn wallet that goes to the market and buy the floor and burn the D god. The burn was basically going to a burner wallet. Didn't run the burner function on these NFTs. So what's gonna happen? daily auction and raffles and also dutch auctions for 535 days straight for a dead god now it will go to the highest bidder and it will also have a youtube attached to it some amazing d gods were burned at that time won't inflate the supply of the collection just one per day so basically 535 days that means there's going to be 535 different d gods or dead gods being released on each day so one dead god or d god per day for 535 days straight so that hopefully you will be able to win but that's how it's going to work now in terms of rarities very important now you must be wondering what's your rarity of your ute well this is how it's going to work around 90 percent of the circulating supply of ute is going to be common and then around nine percent is going to be rare and then 1% is gonna be super rare, like one-on-one -on -one traits. This is really important for you guys to know because the 90% of common NFTs within Utes, the reason it's gonna be common is because we're gonna to have to stake our NFTs to add more traits. Now this is gonna make the 90% of people to want to stake and also not compete with each other or feel like they got totally thrown underneath the bridge, right? This is why we need to understand around illiquid mid-rare. And that's why I think this is really healthy for the market. This is something that's gonna set a new precedent for the next NFT collections coming up shortly. So that's something really cool. I just wanna share that with you. This is everything that you need to know. Again, subscribe to MetaCrypto 1000X to read the rest of this form, but this is just everything I wanna share with you, just in concise of what happened yesterday. So guys, that about wraps it up. I know that this video has been a ton of information. I can't dial down everything for you guys, but that is everything that happened within the past 24 hours and why you should be excited. So guys, in conclusion, you will be minting a YouTube on the Magic Eden website. And for five days, there's gonna be trading of that YouTube within the marketplace. And there's gonna be a lot of different price action happening there. And then five days after, after the five days ends, then you will be able to mint your Ute, burning your YouTube. 
and that's exactly how it's going to work. And this is absolutely something that I'm very proud of, guys. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. I'm so excited to be a part of this community, and I cannot wait to share all the updates that I have. And what my mission is, is to drive value to you guys. I want to make sure that if I'm a part of this youth community, that I'm going to contribute to this society, to this community, because I'm partnering up with some amazing influencers, amazing celebrities, but also just people, normal people like us who are out there working our butts off, and also that we strive and love this space so much. And I look forward to sharing that and growing with you as well. So guys, be sure to like up that button, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to join our Patreon page. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Cryptolution. Register on our Patreon page for our insider training tips and more. And don't forget to click on the affiliates link below to receive sign up bonuses and access the Global Crypto Assets Exchange. Invest safely and we'll see you on the next episode of Cryptolution.